Hey y'all, so in this video, you're gonna see me going to Disney World for the first time. I'm sorry, I forgot to record the intro. This is my first video in a long time and I am like getting used to recording again. I am very shy, so just please work with me and I hope you guys enjoy this video and yeah, let me know in the comments if you wanna see more videos. You happy? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh, and now she is beautiful for the Magic Kingdom, right? Come on, let's go put the ears, the Minnie Mouse ears. Okay. Wow, so pretty. Move back. Show them the whole outfit. Wow, look at them shoes, the dress, the glasses, the bow, the headband. You ready? Yeah! Ali, look. You here? I'm too full. I'm trying to. Made it to Disney World. <laughs> Please remember to play small children for the inside. 
On your right is Star Traders, home to the greatest birds in the galaxy. Except actual stars. Those are all missiles. Approaching Tomorrowland Speedway and Tron Light Cycle Run. I love a good circuit, and these are two of the best tracks of the cosmos for a bit of light, speedy competition. Hey y'all, so we back from Disney World and I can tell you guys 10 out of 10 recommended. Um, I do recommend you to take your kids there. Um, your kids will love it, you will love it if you've never been there. 10 out of 10, like I'm just sad that we couldn't see the fireworks because they have the Halloween. So they had the Halloween event and we didn't get any reservations for it because I wasn't, um, they, was, they didn't tell me about it. So, and it was all sold out, so I couldn't get it. But next time when I do come back, I hope to see the fireworks because that's really what I want to see. So I do recommend you all to go and visit. It's a great experience. I do, I do recommend you to go early. I went around like 1 p.m. and we finished at 6 because that's what time the park closed today, Monday. So I do recommend you to go around like as soon as it opens. As soon as it opens, go because the park is super huge and you need a lot of time to look at everything, to go on all the rides, do all the activities. Um, if you go with toddlers, they do get hot, they do get irritated, overwhelmed. Um, rent a shoulder if not bring a wagon since i come from new york i didn't know i could bring a wagon so i didn't bring mine but you can definitely um rent one for 15 dollars the entrance was 180 dollars so it is a very very pricey plus like what you buy water um, ice creams anything that you buy is going to be expensive like overall we pay for 50 we pay 50 dollars for the parking lot um 550 dollars for the entrance um fifteen dollars for the rental of the shoulder then forty dollars for two bottles of water and bubbles because my daughter wanted some bubbles and um and we also paid fifty dollars for parking premium preferred um member to be closer to the entrance but either way it's not worth it like just get the regular thirty dollar one because you still gotta walk a lot so might as well just walk or take the the train we paid for the preferred and we still had to walk some people that paid 30 dollars didn't have to walk they just went on the bus on the transportation so i don't recommend you to pay for the 50 dollars. but i do recommend you save up and go and visit disney world if it's your first time if it's your child's first time it's a memory that you will never forget and again 10 out of 10 recommended
on my next video is gonna be my review on SeaWorld Orlando. I'm gonna talk more in detail about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I This is my first video back again. So please show it some love. I appreciate it. Like, comment, and subscribe. And see you guys in the next video.